Hi everyone, this is YML and welcome to the second part in the object detection series. In this video, we are going to look at the fast RCNN model, which is an improvement over the simple RCNN, which, as the name suggests, is a fast version of this model. Please watch the first part in the series about RCNN if you haven't already, because it will make this video much easier to understand. To recap, even though RCNN improves the computation time of the sliding window algorithm by using a region proposal algorithm, we still have to run the CNN feature extractor on 2000 regions, which made the RCNN model quite expensive to train and run for inference. Fast RCNN was introduced in 2015 to address this issue and improve the RCNN model by eliminating the need to run the CNN feature extractor on each proposed region. What the Fast RCNN does instead is to use the CNN model to process the entire image instead of processing each region separately. This is done by taking the entire image as input to the CNN and passing it through a series of convolutional and pooling layers, obtaining a feature map. Then, we run the region proposal algorithm on the input image and translate the coordinates of each proposed region into the equivalent coordinates within the feature map. If you want to know more about the region proposal algorithm and how it works, check the previous video in the series about the RCNN, where I go into more details regarding this subject. Also, if you are wondering how we map the regions detected in the input regions into the corresponding regions in the feature map, I've got you covered, don't worry. Suppose that the matrix on the right is our input image and the red box is a proposed region. Then after we apply the convolutional operation with the same painting, which is quite popular for CNNs, we obtain an output that has the same dimension as the input, therefore the proposed region will also be in the same place. Then, the next popular option after applying the convolutional layer is to use the max pooling operation to select the maximum within each pooling window. In this example, I use a 2x2 max pooling layer that reduces the dimensions of the input by half, and as a result, the size and coordinates of the proposed region are also halved. And that's pretty much it. We can extrapolate these two operations and keep track of where in the feature map each region is mapped. The second major change is that fast RCNN uses a region of interest pooling layer to extract a fixed length feature vector from each proposed region. The region of interest pooling layer divides each region into a fixed number of rectangular bins independent of the input shape and then outputs a single value by performing max pooling within each bin. Thus, we get a fixed length feature vector for each region proposal, which is then fed into a series of fully connected layers to perform object classification and boundary box regression. However, although fast RCNN is faster than RCNN, it still has one major drawback, the region proposal algorithm. The region proposal algorithm used in fast RCNN is an external general method and is not optimized for the object detection task we are trying to solve. Also, it relies on algorithms such as selective search, which can be slow and can produce inaccurate region proposals, leading to decreased object detection performance. To address this limitation, faster RCNN was developed and we will see in the next part of the series how exactly it did that. This was the video for today, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I will do my best to respond. And as always, stay tuned and see you in the next video.